Hey everyone, Lindsay here. As you can see, I am doing a vlog. I know I haven't done a lot of these in a while, um, but I figured I would film one uh, just to kind of catch you guys up. Um, with this one, I'm going to try to go a little bit slower and not speed up because I know I tend to talk fast and then I lose track of what I'm talking about. Um, and I'm not doing this with my phone, so there you go. So the first thing I wanted to mention to you guys is that I have officially made a Patreon. I made one actually a couple months ago. Um, it's mostly currently just like my cosplay stuff. I wanted to start doing like cosplay videos over there. Uh, I haven't really started any though, just because I have, there's like, there's not much activity over there. I mean, I know I'm still pretty small, so it's like, it's, it's got a lot of my cosplay photography, uh, and I post some artwork there too. It's, I mean, it's got some, some, some of it is free content, some of it is like, you know, membership type stuff. Um, but, uh, I'm trying to use it to fund cosplay stuff, so, and because I, I don't get paid doing YouTube, obviously there's been a lot of controversy with people getting unverified and stuff, I've never been verified, so I've, I've got like, I think I'm still just below 400 subscribers, but whatever, it's, it's a hobby, it's, it's not like this launched into a career or anything, but uh, I, am, I am grateful for those of you who have stuck around and watched my videos and me be dumb, so, um, if you want to try to support me, if any way you can, check out my Patreon. It's it's in the link in my videos from now on, uh, and it's uh, you know like I said, I, I, I'll it, once I start getting like more uh, pledges I think it was, or patrons, whatever. Once I get more of those, I'll start posting like more content. Just because like right now it's kind of you know, but I still update it with with photographs. Uh, I haven't done a photo shoot in a while because I just haven't gone to cons with friends lately, but I want to try to. Do more of course with with stuff like that so that brings me over to talk about cosplay I have not been able to do a lot of cosplay lately just because of money and time and I haven't really been going to cons I think next year I have planned ALA and probably anime expo so I don't really I'm hoping to go to fanime I, I don't know if I'll make it though because it's kind of a bit of a drive so you know we'll see how that goes but uh, if I can if I can get like a better thing going in my work schedule, there's that. But if for any reason the Patreon starts to pick up, then that might help out. Um, it w the Patreon wouldn't be for like funding me going to cons. That's not the the point. It's to fund cosplay stuff. But I want to like give back to you guys with tutorials and um, what's the word, <sighs> time lapses and stuff like that. Because uh, you guys really seem to like that stuff, and I wish I could do more of it. It's just I don't have the funding for it. But if if you guys are able to like out that'd be totally cool don't feel obliged you're not it's whatever i will say though that the uh back to the patreon it is uh set for 18 and older because i do want to post like artwork that's not safe for work stuff but uh so hopefully that doesn't upset anyone but that's how, it's how it has to be but uh i haven't posted anything like that yet so it's like still kind of up in the air if it ends up not working out i'll probably ask if they can make it you know safe for work or whatever we'll see uh but that's just you know and I mean, maybe some, like, not, like, nudity photography, but, like, you know, suggestive photography or whatever. I, I don't know. But uh, we'll see how that goes. So for, so for cosplay, I, I have set some goals on the Patreon for, like, what I want to do next. Uh, I have to actually work on a Luigi cosplay for Anime Los Angeles, but I have not started it. It's, I mean, it's Luigi. It's not, like, too difficult. But I do have to make his vacuum, so... That'll be interesting. I'll probably film it. I still have to post uh, what I did for Vaporeon. So my Vaporeon cosplay, you guys might have seen a couple years ago. It had like a bodysuit and a tail and the neck thing and the ears and stuff. So I hated how the ears looked and the neck piece was a mess. And I, for Anime Expo this year, which I did manage to go, uh, I, I wanted to do like a simpler Vaporeon, but I wanted to update like what I had. So I completely got rid of the ears. They were just awful. And I remade better ears and they also have like a center frill piece. So it looked a lot better. And then I redid the neck piece as well to be a lot more sturdy and let make a lot more sense. And I filmed myself doing it. The only thing is I filmed it with the intention of it being like almost like a, not a live stream, but like I wanted to like talk to you guys while I was doing it. So there's a lot of me talking and just like about, you know, cosplay stuff and everything, tips and whatnot, but it's kind of long, so I don't know how I'm going to do that, but it was, it, it was, it wasn't like, this is a tutorial, it was more like, hey, watch me make this thing and make mistakes, because that happens, you know, and see what I do about said mistakes, and, 
uh, at some point I actually restart, like I did a pattern for the neck piece and then I completely scrapped it and redid it. But like, I was like, I'm keeping the footage, but I don't know how I'm going to post that. Um, so it's the, it's the neck piece and the ears that I made. And I, because it was summertime and I've made a rule, I'm going to separate winter cosplays with summer and, and summer cosplays. So I have like cosplays that keep me more warm in the winter time. And then cosplays that are cooler in the summer. So for Vaporeon, I ended up just wearing like a pair of jean shorts and a swimsuit. And like, I managed to get the tail attached like as a belt kind of thing. Actually, uh, me and Raven went to Anime Kanji for a day dressed as Vaporeon and Umbreon. And uh, that was like kind of the test run. Yeah, that's right. That's what I, so for Anime Expo this year, it was, I was, I didn't have to worry about like a major cosplay. It was really nice just being like able to relax. So cosplay, I, I still really want to do it. It's just kind of on hold right now. Um, but like, I really appreciate how you guys like react to the videos. Like it's really awesome. And whenever you guys ask questions, I try my best to answer all of them as best as I can. Um, I don't know if I see all of them and I apologize if I haven't, but, uh, if you, if you, I'll probably see it if it's like something on Instagram more likely. Uh, it'll it'll probably be more. Or if you tweet it at me, that's I have a Twitter. I think it's linked to. I don't know. It's uh, it's just whimsy rainbows. Uh, so, you know, you guys feel free to ask like costly related questions if you have like if you're stuck on something. And um, it's actually cool because there's a an Instagram account who I think, uh, what is the name of it? Well, no, uh, I won't say their name just in case they don't want to be. Uh, shoutcast, but like they actually have a really cool band that a two cosplay and I think that they mentioned that um, they watched my videos and I was like oh that's so cool and uh, so like that's it's cool to see that like I really love seeing like what you guys make and if you were inspired by stuff I did or someone else it's just really cool like I, I love to see that and I love people like being able to like create stuff too you know um, so yeah so the, it, I still want to do a lot of cosplay but uh the what I wanted to do I think I wanted to have Bayonetta 1 fixed for anime kanji or no anime Los Angeles but uh I have to I, I don't have the means right now but I wanted to start with redoing the wig and actually like I should probably like actually start live streaming um cosplay stuff if I can I, I don't know though because I don't know if I should do it here or on twitch or, or what it might be better on here because I think twitch is like more for like game only but people still do like, art stuff on Twitch, which is fine, but, like, I, I, I don't want to, like, I don't know, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, so, this is just a little fun thing, but I actually redid my, my space here. Um, you guys can't see it, it's just, I, I switched out my computer chair that I always sit in, and I have, like, a bench thing I'm sitting on with, like, a blanket, and it's soft, and I have another bench over here, so I've got, like, this little, like, place I can sit and draw, or crochet, or read, and it's actually, like, way more, like, comfortable to just, like, you know, I don't have to worry about like a swivelly chair or anything like that. Cause that chair just got really, I have really like a lot of back problems and they've been getting exponentially worse lately. Um, probably cause I turned 30. So, you know, it's like all of a sudden my body's like, nah, nah, nah. but, uh, it's, it's been a lot better. Um, so I, I would like to get like a nice gamer chair, but I don't know if that would be better or worse on my back. I mean, they, they're really nice, but they're also expensive, but you know, this is, this is just like a cool thing. And I mean, the lights are still the same and I kind of rearranged my ribbons, but other than that, it's... Oh, so this is uh, an important thing for games. So recently, my game capture, the one that I use for console games, has pretty much... Uh, not bricked, but it's pretty bad. It won't... It's it's weird. It's It's got, like, this glitch or something where I, I hit the record button and nothing happens. And I have to, like, re-plug it in and stuff until finally it starts to actually work. But if I, like... If I... If I take, if I stop recording and take that flash drive out, put it back in, it'll most likely mess up again. I don't know why it's done that. I don't know if it's just old or maybe it's not like a product that was supposed to last that long or if it got messed up because there was one day where, um, there's videos not of the incident, but of that day we were filming some Mario Maker stuff and I was with Almas and, uh, Brandon and Dom were in town and we were filming in the living room and it was like the worst rainstorm we were having in our area like that we've had like ever and i think a lightning strike hit so close to the house that it actually because um the recording stopped when that happened and i saw the tv glitch the Wii stayed on but like my camera my camera stayed on too because it's not it doesn't rely on like a cord but like obviously the game capture like it it, it stopped the capture and corrupted the files that we were uh recording it was like the the I think it was the current recording 
and maybe the one before it. It was really weird. And I don't know if it's like because of that or something like that was a weird, like it was like a power surge kind of thing. Like, um, there wasn't like a lightning bolt, like hit the house or anything. It was just like a, a surge that like, I think might have messed it up. I don't know. It messed up that recording session. That's for sure. We stopped after that, but I learned not to record during a thunderstorm. Um, but I don't know if like that may have messed it up, but I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that that is, it could just be again that it's old. So, uh, console games are on hold right now, except for the PS4. Because the PS4, as I discovered during Subnautica, I can record with it. And it's really awesome. And it's really easy. Um, so, for PS4 games, I can still do stuff. The only thing is, uh, you know, I wanted to, because it was requested that I, before I continue with the Reignited trilogy, to go back and finish the other games. Although that would be really tedious, because some of those games get really hard, like, Sonic 2, or Sonic 2, wow, brain, Spyro 2, sorry, um, Ripto's Rage is, it's pretty, uh, aggravating, you know, with all those, uh, orb challenges, but I can't film that right now, and I feel bad that I'm not putting out other stuff, like, it's the same four games, like, constantly, so I, I think I might have to continue with Reignited right now, because I don't have anything else that I can do, um, and then the other game I have for PS4 is Subnautica, but, I mean, I still haven't beaten that, and it's like, I feel really bad. It's just like, I don't get, like, a lot of recording time. <clears throat> but, um, you know, I'm gonna try, uh, whenever I start, like, doing better with, with money, I'm gonna try to get another game capture, hopefully, like, a more up-to-date one or something, I don't know, or just one that's not so strange. But, uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes, because I, I have, okay, so, I have a Switch, and I have Mario Maker 2, and I've wanted to play it so bad. I mean, I have been playing, I've been making levels like crazy, but I've wanted to, like, play, play people's levels, you know, and do, like, because, uh, Mario Maker was so much fun last time, once I finally got it, but, like, by the time I got it, I think the game had already kind of, like, peaked, or it was, like, kind of, you know, eh, whatever, but, like, you know, it's a blast, I love it, I love making levels, it's so fun, and I'll, I'll totally, like, uh, link my levels out to you, for you guys to play if you want, um, cause that's cool, you know, whatever, but, uh, uh, I, I can't film anything right now with it, cause I don't have a working game capture, and so obviously that's put, like, Sly Cooper on hold, and, um, it's funny, cause I actually, like, six months ago started filming Sly Cooper, my TV started glitching like crazy, and I just, like, got so mad, I just was like, I'm out, I'm out, I'll come back to this, like, tomorrow or something, and I haven't touched it, but it doesn't matter, cause my game capture is not really working. So it's, I just have to, first of all, restart that episode, and then also, um, you know, get a better game capture, I guess. But we'll, we'll see how that goes, so I don't know when that's going to happen. Hopefully soon. Uh, we'll see. I'm knocking stuff over. That's the only problem. There's, like, a lot of stuff around here, so I'm, like, hitting those. Yeah. Um, so, uh, work. Um, my work schedule's been, like, on and off, and that's been kind of difficult with, like, money. I am trying to look into, like, temp agency type stuff, or, you know, just whatever, um, you know, to try to figure out where I work best and what to do right now for myself, but, you know, I'm trying to make things work, we'll see. Um, I have had interesting adventures work-wise, but, like, it's just not, uh, very lucrative, unfortunately. But, you know, whatever, that's just the thing I'm dealing with. It's just, that's why I've been more sparse with videos, because it's been, like, stressful. I've been dealing with a lot of, um, you know, like, anxiety issues, and recently a lot of depression, so I've been going through a kind of a rough time with stuff, um, and work's been related to that because it's just been stressful not making enough, but, uh, I'm doing what I can at this rate, um, but I'm, I'm trying to work around all that, so hopefully that ends up working out for, um, schedules and such. Um, so I know that I've been changing, because I, I just try to see what works really for myself and for you guys. I don't know how the hour-long episodes is working out. It's probably kind of annoying and I feel bad. Uh, I want to try to trim it down a bit, but I can't, I don't think I can dedicate myself to like 10, 15 minute episodes anymore. Like it's, it's just, it's just too much, I think, with like all the video editing, which is, but it's weird though, because like lately I haven't had much video editing going on and I actually miss it. And I'm like, that's really weird. But like, I don't know. It's, it's weird, but, uh, I don't know. It, it, it just has something to like commit to a lot. So I might maybe do like half hour episodes of things or 45 minutes. I'm not sure, but I don't think I want to do hour long. Cause I think that's just too much. And I'm trying to get through these games. It's just like, I don't, hi Zoe. Sorry. My cat's right here. 
What's the matter? You okay? Okay. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll see how that ends up going. What's the matter? Are you stuck? Hi. Or you just want to sit there. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, let's see. Um, so, I totally forgot that a while back I actually was able to purchase Dream Daddy. Uh, I think I bought it when it came out, but I was saving it to play, and this brings me to my next subject too, I was saving it to play with, like, friends or whatever. I was going to play it with Brent and Brandon, but uh, that's probably not going to happen just because Brent is really busy and Brandon's out of state, so, uh, you know, uh, that's kind of complicated things. But I think I'm just going to play it on my own um, at this rate because I've wanted to play it for so long, and I see all this stuff, and I'm just like, man, like, I even see, like, cosplays of it, which is cool, and I'm just like, God, I need to play that game. It looks like a lot of fun, and I'm sure it is. I watched the live stream when it was first, um, not, not released, but, like, the day before, or something like that, and, uh, it looked like a lot of fun. It was cool, you can make your dad, or whatever, or the character you play as, and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, that's awesome, I, I want to do that. Uh, I haven't been doing games with friends as often, just because everyone's so busy, and, you know. Uh, trying to get a, a group of people together to play like prop hunt is just so difficult. I feel like uh, we were stream we were or we were playing like Minecraft online, but like it was just a silly creative mode server, and sometimes we would uh, talk online and stuff like that. It's, it was fun, but uh, a lot of us just kind of stopped doing that because we've had other projects going on and everything. So you know, uh, there hasn't really been like any of those going on. So uh, I obviously I went to Anime Expo this year, and I wasn't sure if I was gonna go. I had a ticket, but no way to get a hotel up there, because that's usually what I do, is I go to a, you know, a hotel up in LA, but as fun as that is, when you can't afford it, it's not gonna work, so, okay, and the hotels up there are pretty expensive, usually I have, like, a lot of friends I go with, so it's, like, you know, everyone ships in for, uh, the bill, but, like, the past two times I've gone alone, and last year I was alone, so it was, like, pretty expensive, this year I was like, there's no way I can do that again. It was fun. It was fun having like a vacation of my own. I'm just like, like that was, it was a lot of fun going last year by myself. It was just like, wow, this is actually like my own hotel room and everything. It was really cool. But uh, this year I was like, I can't do that again. Uh, I don't have the means of it. So I wasn't sure how I was going to manage. But then I, I actually, I asked a relative up there if I could stay at their place. And they were like, yeah, totally. And I was like, oh, cool. And they're like, like super close so it was it actually ended up working out driving in every morning was no big deal I got there at like 8 and it was like it was actually weird being there so early because when you stay at the hotels you can kind of sleep in a little bit because you're like it's like a 20 minute trip down there to and I don't have to worry about parking I could just be there you know but like and I can go back to my hotel to change and stuff like that but when you go there all day it's kind of like you have this mindset of like all right this is it I can't come back because I have to pay another 20 bucks for parking or whatever it is so I just got there really early and I got close parking or whatever and you know, like, it was, it was great. The first day, I will say, though, was absolute hell, because it was a six-hour line to get in. Yeah, it was bad, and, uh, it's a good thing I had sunblock. I would have been sunburnt like crazy, and the way that they did lines this year was just really bad. Like, I don't know what the heck happened, um, that messed it up, but, like, that first day was just absolute torture. It was so bad. Uh, and I, like I said, I have a lot of back and leg problems, so, like, that did not work out for me. Um, the, but the rest of the con was, was, was fine. And, I mean, like, that first day I was really frustrated. I ended up, I got there and I ended up staying for, like, two hours. I was just so, like, done that, at that point. I, I actually debated not coming back, but then the next day I went back and uh, I met up with some friends. And we had a great time, so it was, it was really cool. And uh, there, were, <laughs> there were two earthquakes during the con. One was in the morning, uh, in line, and it was funny because I was standing there, and sometimes I get, like, dizzy, like, I don't really know what it is, why, but I, I sometimes get dizzy, and, like, so I'm standing there just by myself, and suddenly I feel myself wobbling, and I'm like, oh, crap, am I getting, like, heat stroke or whatever, but then I see these guys in front of me, and they just kind of have these looks on their faces, like, what is that, and I'm like, oh, am I the, uh, not the only person feeling that, so we, like, stood there, we're like, oh, my God, I think that we're having an earthquake, and it was like, I'm like, oh, God, no, please, like, not, not this, so, but it was like a, not that, I mean, I think other people felt it more. I think it was more like in like the, like Bakersfield area. It was like really, or something like that. I don't remember. Maybe it was a different area, but it was, it was pretty like, you know, some people got a good jolt of it. But the next night, and it's so funny because it was, uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of Mega64 and their panel was at the Marriott, but it was at like 830 at night or something like that. So, you know, we get in and we're sitting in there 
and like five minutes before the show's about to go on, we feel the building start moving. And once again, I had that feeling of like, what? What is it? Like, and then I'm like, wait a minute. No, this building is moving. And like, you could, it, you could feel it. It was so creepy because the first time I was outside. So it was like, okay, you're outside. But like inside a building that's like really tall, you feel it sway and it's like, Oh, that's terrifying. So like, and you can see like, cause they have like light fixtures in there for the panels that they were actually swaying. And I'm just like, um, so like there was, you know, like everyone was like, okay, it's, it's just an earthquake. It's not like, it's not going crazy or whatever. Um, but then the fire alarm went off and the, the crazy, the weird, no, the weirdest thing was it was, um, right as the Mega 64 show started, the fire alarm started to go off and it canceled out the video. And of course it's Mega 64. So you think it's them being silly. And like, we started to realize like, wait, Wait, that's a fire alarm. Oh, man. And, like, so that was really not good, because it was like, it, mm, yeah. Uh, so, we, we were like, alright, I guess we leave. And it sucked, because I had a front row seat. I'm like, man, you know, like, ah. Uh. But then, uh, the hotel staff were like, no, 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 it's, someone just pulled it for safe reasons, but we don't, there was not actually a fire in the building, so, like, you guys can stay unless someone tells us to leave. So we stayed and Mega 64 went on. They had to have their volume really loud because the fire alarm wasn't going off for a while. So it was like this like alarm and, and like lights and flickering and stuff. So like, but that eventually stopped and we just had it. We had a great panel. It was a lot of fun, but that was just like, oh my goodness. So it's funny because I texted my mom um, after the, after the show and she was like, yeah, I didn't even feel it. And I'm like, really? It was, it was crazy up where I was, but apparently, uh, I think that's the one that made like some area up north was like, whoa, that was an earthquake. And it was like a 7.1 or something. And I'm just like, jeez, like that. I don't know what it was, like t two days in a row. And I'm just like, okay, Anime Expo, what, what is happening? <laughs> but no, it was it was a good con. Uh, it was one of the uh, best I've had in a while. It was just interesting going again by myself. But like it, something about going where I had to pay for parking and that was like a one trip type of thing. I actually think I got more done and I stayed longer. And it was cool getting in so early, like on the rest of the days because then it was like easy to get in but like you know you get there and there's not that many people there and it's kind of cool it's like oh this is kind of nice you know and I would try to stay as late as I could uh on some days and I mean obviously on that one day I was there from like eight in the morning till 10 o'clock at night for Mega 64 so that was a long day but it was a good day so it's fine um we yeah you know had a good time uh and I got to like see people and you know and I got to chat with Mega64 which was really cool it's always like a that's a I, I, I purposely go I don't know why I never used to go look for their booth uh, when they would because cause they go to cons and they have a booth like they're just there and you can talk to them but like the past two years or this year and last year I have actually made a point to go to their booth and be like hey guys like oh my gosh I've been a fan since 04 you know so it's just like really cool and so this year I was just chatting with them and I got like a, a shirt that I really I really love my Mega64 shirt because it's like the most comfortable t-shirt I've ever had it's like oh so yeah, AX was good, and uh, it was a simple trip, and it wasn't stressful. It, it, like it's, aside from that first day, but it wasn't stressful dealing with like a cosplay that was like, you know, it was just like, no, I'm just chill, whatever. And I brought a, like a change of clothes just in case. My sorry, my mascara keeps sticking. Um, I brought a change of clothes each day just in case. Like I didn't cosplay every day, but like uh, on the day that I did, I was like, here's like a change of clothes. So that worked out. Um, and so the Vaporeon cosplay is like pretty simple, but. It can be worn to a con that's, like, really warm or whatever. Um, if you guys went, I hope you had a good AX. Uh, yeah, that line was pretty bad, though. So, you know. Um, and the last thing I want to talk about was just, uh, I'm not really sure why I put it on my list, but, like, in general, I've been doing a lot of art lately, and uh, it's, it's interesting because, like, last night, I was having a moment of, like, a lot of, something kind of really made me mad so I came home and I was like I want to fucking draw so I just spent the night drawing and just kind of like venting my not venting my anger but just I was like I have a thing I want to do and I'm gonna draw it and I don't usually get like that because my brain does this thing where it's motivated but it's not motivated and I hate that so um, I just spent the night drawing and then I ended up actually looking through a bunch of old drawings from 2014 and they're actually not bad. Like, I mean, they're, like, silly fan fan fiction stuff, but, like, they're really good drawings. Like, I was like, this is actually, like, cool. Like, I mean, like, for my own skill level, I feel like this was good. And I, th I think that that's where my, you know, because I, I started drawing last year when I got a tablet. And I'm like, I feel like I've been doing this this whole time. But, like, I mean, I know my, my tablet works still. It, it, it needs a lot of work because it's a, 
my hand's still really wobbly. When you do it, when you draw on paper, it's one thing. When you draw on a tablet, it, the, one of the one, it's not one of the ones where you see the screen below your pen. It's one of the ones that's like a piece of plastic, and then you look at the screen while you draw kind of thing. So that's a little like, you know, hand-eye coordination. I used to be really good at it, but it's like I'm way wobbly now. But <clears throat> my actual paper artwork with a pencil is pretty good. Or, no, I don't want to be like, oh, I'm so good. No, no, no. It's for my skill level and what I've practiced doing for a while. I feel, like, confident with it. Um, again, it's not the best or where I'd like it to be, but it's it's getting there. It's progress, you know? So I've been, I've been doing a lot of work on art when I can. Uh, again, the motivation thing is kind of difficult because I'm like, I want to draw all the things, and then I'm just sitting there like, no. <laughs> so, you know. Uh, but, uh, like I said, I post some of it on my Patreon and on Twitter and Instagram. You know, it depends on what it is. If it's something that's more, like, exclusive, I'd rather it be, like, on the one of the Patreon tiers or whatever. But um, it's it's just something that's that's good and sometimes therapeutic. So going through my artwork last night was, was cool, but, like... And it's funny because a lot of them, I'm like, man, I would love to scan this and color it and, you know, like, do it digitally on the computer. Um, but, uh, yeah, art is pretty good. Um... And if any of you guys are artists out there, like, you know, like, it's awesome, and keep doing what you do, and, and you know, you gotta practice, like, definitely, that is something I've learned about artwork, is, like, you really just gotta work at it, like, um, cause I was, I wasn't where I'm at, like, years ago, I, I look at my old work, and I'm like, man, and it was, the biggest thing for me was, it wasn't even like, oh, my art looks terrible, it was more like, god, why is it so hard to do, like, even what I just drew, took forever, but then I, you like learn techniques and develop ways to make it faster, and it's like, oh, this isn't hard, um, so it's just, it's just a matter of practice, so like, you know, um, and that's, you know, what other artists who are way better than I am have told me, so it's like, sure, I'll, t I'll, I'll go for that, um, but yeah, uh, so that's also something I do, but, uh, and I, I, I try to do artwork for, like, the channel and stuff, but again, it's a motivation thing, but like, uh, you know. So, um, I'm actually about to do some filming tonight, because I had been meaning to do it, and I just kept, like, um, my work schedule is, like, kind of, like, it pops up every once in a while, and it's like, hey, you want to come in tomorrow? Okay, sure. But it's, like, it's not, like, super difficult, so it's, like, not, like, oh my god, like, you know, one day advance notice, but it's like, no, it, with this job, it's fine, I'm cool with that, but it's kind of like I'm open to be like, hey, if my boss texts me and says, hey, can you come in tomorrow? I'll be like, yeah, I can, because I'm not doing anything tomorrow, or, hey, no, I have a thing, but I can come in the next day or whatever. So, like, with that, um, that popped up, like, several times this week, and I didn't expect it to, and I kept thinking, okay, I'm gonna film, and then, like, I, stuff got in the way, like, the first day of th this week, um, I actually got bit by mosquitoes, and those tend to really, uh, I suspect I have, like, an allergy or something, but, like, they get really bad, so I took a Benadryl, and of course that knocked me out for like ever. So for like 24 hours, I was just like groggy and or sleeping, and I'm just like, all right, I can't do that again. So I, I meant to film the next day, and I was still feeling it, and I'm just like, I'm too tired. And then the next couple days, I had a uh, like game night and everything, or like other stuff that it just like never fit in. So I'm like, today I'm gonna do it. Like I gotta film, and then I'm gonna draw because I want to do Inktober stuff because uh, that's coming up. So. Um, I want to, like, you know, uh, not prepare, but, like, practice and stuff like that. So, alright, so I'm gonna go film a couple things, um, maybe start Dream Daddy, who knows. I'm not promising anything, but we'll see. And I, I want to try to do, like, some sort of a, like, darker-themed, or, like, a spooky-themed Halloween game, or, not a Halloween game, but, like, scary game, whatever. I need to actually finish Fran Bao. I've been considering going back to that. Um, and I know I still have... Uh, Undertale, but I don't know if I'm gonna get back to that because it's like it's been so long. I don't know if I should just restart or, or what. Um, but we'll, we'll we'll see. All right. So sorry, this vlog's been really long, but it's I've just been trying to catch everyone up. Uh, hopefully, you guys have been doing good and had a good summer. Uh, good luck with school for those of you who are going to school. And uh, since it's almost October, hopefully you guys have a good Halloween month and you know all that. Alright guys, so I'm going to go off and film, so I will see you in the next video, and until then, stay whimsical.